Hello, welcome to European Open Briefing for Wednesday, January the 23rd. I'm Rafi Boyajian, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So we're seeing some improvement in risk appetite this morning following yesterday's deterioration uh, on reports that the White House uh, had rejected uh, a request by China to hold some preparatory tra trade talks uh, this week ahead of next week's negotiations. That report was later denied by the White, White House, uh, helping uh, that rebound, although it's a very weak rebound. We can see Asian equities were mixed this morning and uh, European stocks uh, are having a negative start uh, to the day. Uh, we're also seeing uh, oil prices and the Aussie uh, similarly recovering uh, very weakly. Uh, the dollar itself uh, is marginally higher this morning, dollar yen up a bit more substantially. Uh, so the yen is broadly weaker this morning. Uh, it did get an additional um, drag by the Bank of Japan uh, downgrading its inflation forecasts uh, at the meeting uh, earlier uh, today. Having a look at European currencies, we can see uh, euro and sterling uh, more or less flat against the dollar. Um, but the Kiwi is the biggest gainer this morning. We had we did see New Zealand inflation numbers beating expectations. We can see that the Kiwi uh, currently the best performer uh, this uh, morning. So the dollar has managed to recoup all of its losses against the yen uh, from yesterday. Uh, we did also see yesterday the risk sentiment being dampened by the IMF's downgrade to a world uh, growth. Um, and But this morning we did see an announcement by China that it uh, plans to further increase its fiscal spending for 2019. So that also helping the rebound. It is a very weak rebound, though there are still ongoing concerns about the growth outlook for 2019, uh, mid trade tensions, uh, Brexit, uh, and uh, a broader global, s global slowdown. So that's why the Aussie uh, hasn't been able to make more substantive gains uh, this morning. So, and we also did see the Bank of Japan monetary policy meeting. Uh, the Bank of Japan uh, lowering its inflation forecast, though it does remain cautiously optimistic on growth, but nevertheless uh, the downward revisions did weigh on the Japanese yen uh, this uh, morning. Uh, and a quick look at sterling now, we can see it's uh, holding to yesterday's highs it, when it uh, started to move back towards last week's two months high of 1.30 against the US dollar. Uh, so investors are now see that the most likely outcome uh, will be that there will be a delay to Article 50 and possibly a second referendum uh, and there's a much reduced chance of a no-deal Brexit so that's keeping sterling um, uh, well supported. We also see did see higher than expected wage growth yesterday in the in the UK jobs uh, report uh, but uh, but may will probably struggle to win uh, more amendments uh, to her Brexit deal uh, with the EU. Uh, she needs to do that if she was going to win her parties and the DUP's uh, backing. If she doesn't get anywhere in that, uh, MPs will probably try to take more control of the Brexit process and that will uh, pretty much guarantee uh, that would, pro that would put a no-deal Brexit uh, out off the table. Uh, and finally, looking quickly at the New Zealand dollar, we did see the inflation numbers in New Zealand for the fourth quarter coming slightly above expectations. Uh, and one of the uh, one particular uh, separate in measure of inflation that the New Reserve Bank of New Zealand watches uh, was uh, way above expectations. Uh, so that has uh, that means a rate cut by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is uh, pretty unlikely in the very near future. We can see the QB up by around 0.5%. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.